welcome to another of my videos. This is a stretching warm-up session. You could use it just on its own, or you could use it to precede any of my main session exercise videos. So let's get started. I'm using a block, a Pilates block, which is a light, quite wide block. If you don't have one, you can use a cushion, you could use a, a coffee table book, you could equally use nothing. So don't let it stop you doing this routine. So we're gonna start with our feet hip width apart with the block or book in front of us. And we're gonna take our shoulders up to our ears with a big breath in. And then take a breath out and lower them down. So breath in and then relax them down your back. One more. Okay, this time as your shoulder blades slide down your back, take your weight onto your heels. So if it's not there already, your hips will need to come backwards for that to happen. Drop your ribs to their lowest possible position. And with that neutral, neutral body, abs switched on, we're gonna lift and lower the block. So we're just trying to move the arms without moving the ribs. So the rib cage stays down, weight stays back on your heels, but you can move your arms. We're breathing in as they come up, out as they come down. <sighs> Lovely, next time the block is up overhead, let's reach it up to the ceiling so your shoulders come up and then slide the, your shoulder blades down your back again. And we're gonna turn, so one hand is on fr in front and the other one is behind, and whatever you're holding is horizontal to the ground. And we're gonna side bend. Big breath here, and we go over to the other side. So just try and keep your hands in line with each other so you just get a little bit of a stretch in a different place every time you go up and over. And we're breathing in and out, and in, and out. And next time we're up in the center, we're gonna turn so the other hand is up in front, and then side bend, breathing in, and out, and in, and out. And now we're gonna just level the block up overhead so your hands are over your ears. Make sure they're down your back. Make sure your ribs are still down. And now we'll do a normal side bend, but just keeping your hands in line, holding the block. Up and over. Breathing. And then we're gonna stop while the block is overhead and just bring it down in front of us. So, shoulders down still, centre through the, through the hips, belly button draws slightly in just to feel switched on through the middle, and we're gonna press through one heel so the other hip is lifted by this hip. So we've got it in a pelvic lift. This one's higher than that one. Hold it there, and then see if you can lower and lift it. So both of my knees are straight, but this hip's lifting this hip, and it's doing that by pressing into the floor on my standing foot, and try and be on the heel of that foot. If you don't feel it in this jeans pocket area, perhaps just slide your hips backwards slightly, so maybe they're slightly in front of you. And on this next lift, hold it there, and take the leg behind you, and then to the side. And then without tipping forward and backwards with your upper body, just give that leg a little push up behind you. So there's a squeeze in that back glute of the, lift, of the lifted leg, and you can just feel it squeeze, 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 and let's do two more, and then bring that leg in, and it should still be dangling off the ground, still lifted by this hip, and bend the knee. If you need to keep the foot on the floor for balance, do, but if you can lift it, that's great. Now, just straighten out the standing leg, just check that it is straight with the knee soft. And then we're gonna shut our eyes and just try to feel grounded into the heel of the standing leg. So just take a couple of breaths in and out here. And then we're gonna put that foot down. Just check its hip width away from the other. Have your weight equal in both heels first of all. And then push into the foot you've just put down so that the other hip lifts. 
and we're trying to keep this standing hip in as much as you can with your feet hip width. And then we're lifting and lowering. And as we lift and lower, try to get your weight onto the heel of that standing foot and try to feel it in that jeans pocket area. So perhaps do a little tip forward if you don't feel it there. So nice and loose through the upper body and this hip lifting this one. Okay, let's hold it lifted. Take that leg behind you and out to the side and then push into that glute. Try not to tip, tip forward in any way. And let's do three more. And then bring that leg in. Hopefully it's still slightly lifted off the floor. We're gonna lift the knee. And then we're gonna take our weight back onto our standing heel and try shutting your eyes. So when you shut your eyes, try and center your weight through the heel of that standing foot. Lovely, and then we're gonna open our eyes and put that foot down just slightly wider than hip width. Check that the outside edges of your feet are parallel and block out in front, we're gonna go into squats. So we're sitting back onto a chair that's not there. And first of all, we're just doing conventional, normal squats where your knees come forward, bottom goes back, and we're just trying to keep a neutral spine. So our tailbone sticking out as it comes behind you, we're trying not to tuck under. So we're trying not to have a rounded back. And then go for having your weight on your heels. So your toes can lift off the floor. You could even lift them to check their lift they can lift. And then we're gonna adjust so that your knees don't go forward, they stay vertical over your heels. So your hips go further back, your arms come forward to counteract the weight of your hips going back. And we're still trying to keep a little arch in our lower back, so it's still got that neutral pelvis. This is fantastic for your pelvic floor and glutes. Okay, we're just gonna do one more and then we're gonna hold this one down and just see if you can get your knees even further back. They might not quite be vertical. And then we're gonna press through both heels to come up and we're gonna take your feet slightly wider. Toes pointing forward again. So really as wide as your heels can go while your feet are forward. So you might find that there's a limit where your, your knees bend and you can't be in a comfortable position. And at that point we go back into the squats. So we're trying to get our hips back and stop our knees from coming forward. So your knees are, in, in theory, still. They're bending, but they're not displacing forwards. And your toes can lift, and your bottom goes back. And if this is beginning to ache your middle back, just make sure that your ribs are lifted. You're connecting your ribs to your pelvis. So you might even be able to feel the contraction in your pelvic floor as you go back, but try and add an extra one. So as your hips go back, you're drawing up. Okay, and we're gonna stay down for this next one. See if you can get your hips even further back. Feel that drawing in of your pelvic floor. Knees are open, so your arches are nice and lifted off the floor. And then we're gonna press through both heels to come up. And without changing the position of your feet, we're gonna go into a lunge. So we're gonna go, we'll go this way first. We bend just that knee, and then we come up. So just that knee bends and comes up. Down and up, down and up. And now we're gonna swivel the knee that we were bending, the foot of that knee, so that it's perpendicular to the other one but our hips are gonna stay this way. So the block here represents my hips. They're still facing the camera, and I bend that knee and I go as low as I can. That foot pointing forward. Just have to give it a swivel, it should have cheats. So we're bending and straightening, and I'm pushing through the heel of that front foot. Okay, now we're gonna stay up, keep the same foot position, but turn so that your hips are trying to be perpendicular to that front thigh. So here are my hips, this is the block is representing my hips, and we go down as low as you can, press through the heel to come up. 
to a slightly different pull each time on my inner thigh. You're going down as low as you can, feeling that really big stretch. And now this time when you're up, we're going to swivel that back foot up. So now my heels and toes are all in the same, pointing in the same direction. And I'm going to try and bring the hip of that back foot, back leg forward. So here's my hips square to my leg in front of, the leg in front of me. Both legs straight first of all, and then only bend the front knee. And then press through the heel of it to come up. And we go down, and we come up. And down again, and we come up. And this time we start with both legs straight, but we're going to bend both of them. And we're going to try to not bring the front knee forward. So the back knee comes forward to try to keep that front knee still. Not quite to the floor, press through it to come up. You're going to feel it, really feel it in the thigh of the back leg. Down, and come up. Try not to scrunch your toes in the floor of the front foot. Down, this is the last one and then come up. And then we're going to step all of our weight onto the front foot, bending that knee, and see if you can reach your hands away and lift the back leg. Drop the hip of that back leg, and then just hold it here. So reaching away, nice and flat. Big breath, and then step that back foot in, hip width away from the other, take your hands down to the floor, lift your hip and slide your weight onto your heels, tailbone lifted long through the back of your legs. And then we just breathe. And we're going to roll up. So draw your belly button in, roll your spine, so you're replacing your vertebrae against an imaginary wall, all the way up to standing. Shoulders slide down your back, you're nice and tall, crown of your head lifted, and we'll go back into the wide-legged squats. So. Heels wide, big toes seem further in than your heels. Block, or if you're holding nothing, that's fine. In front of you, hands in front of you. And now we're going to bend our knees, but not bring them forward. So hips go back. Just check that each inner thigh is doing the same thing, that you aren't slightly over to one side. Try and have your knees feel like they're open as you go back. So you're keeping them, trying to point them over your toes. Let's stay down for this next one, drawing in the pelvic floor. <sighs> Big breath. And then press through your heels to come up. And we're going to do the lunges this way, so stretching the inside of the other thigh. So we come down, and you don't go very far because of your foot position. And then you come up. And you go down. And you come up. One more. Down and up, and now we're going to swivel the, the knee that you're bending, that foot points and is perpendicular to the other foot, but your hips stay this way, here are your hips. Go down as low as you can go, press through the heel of that front foot to come up. Down as low as you can go, the heel gets you back up, and again. Lovely, and then feet position stay the same. We turn over the front foot, trying to get that back hip as, as far forward as you can. And then bend, and straighten. And bend, and straighten. And last one. And now you're up. We're going to swivel that back heel up, so toe heel, toe heel are all pointing in the same direction. Try and bring that back hip forward, both legs straight first of all, bend only the front leg. Press through the heel to come up, only the front leg. And up. So you see I'm trying not to tip forward here, I'm trying to keep my body more or less upright. Lovely, now both legs are straight first of all, and then we bend both legs, but the front knee is trying not to come forward. So we're coming down, and up. And again, and last one, and this time when you come up, we're taking all the weight onto that front bent leg, and reaching your arms away, and lifting that back leg, if you can get it off the floor, dropping the hip of it, and just feeling long.
a last reach away with the heel in your hands and then bring your foot down hip width away from the one on the floor take your hands to the floor let your neck relax hips are lifted tailbone lifted heels press into the floor so your toes can lift so you're relaxing but you're relaxing with the longest back of the legs you could possibly get Lovely. And then take one last big breath. And then we're just going to draw in through the middle to roll up. And finish by feeling long and tall. Crown of the head lifted, chin tucked in, and your shoulders relax down your back. Weight on your heels and your ribs lowered.